Greetings, everyone. Uh, Grim here. Gonna tell you a little bit about today's update to Heroes of the Storm with Sylvanas, as you can probably see. Um, gonna give her a tryout real quickly. I'll probably be horrible because I'm, again, not that great at this game, but. I really like Sylvanas and I really like the character concept. Um, I'm just going to go over some of her costumes and some new appearances for the shop and everything. Um, I would say that it's a definite improvement. Like, look at that. Look at the loading screen there in the character select screen, actually, not the loading screen, sorry. It looks a million times better. I mean, it's very similar, but it's just more up close and personal in your face you can see all the new Sylvanas Master skins which I hopefully will get to not really liking her Ranger General skin it's, nah. it's okay but it's not something I'd definitely be buying or going after or play even if it was given to me so yeah, I like Sylvanas as her undead self um, I see they have a hint of blonde in her hair as well which makes sense usually it's what well, I don't know sometimes her hair color has been very changey over the years it's been I believe black it's been white it's been blonde I think this is a good balance um, some of her abilities I'm not really gonna go over too much of that because well, I'm gonna I don't know I'm gonna try them all out uh, the way the matchmaking system is set up and changed uh, as you can see the uh, quick match is before the cooperative match now uh, just some of my characters that, again, I haven't done too much. I try to get people to five for the gold, of course, I think most people do, even if you don't like them. I did get, as if anyone watched the other videos, uh, Vala to uh, ten, and I thought I was done, but now they've increased the character uh, level to twenty, I believe, with some more gold rewards, which is always nice, but it's like, oh, the grind, I thought I was done, I could just play other characters, but it's nice to be able to use Vala and uh, show off her master skin for a little bit. So I'm going to get into a match here. I don't know how, it should be pretty quick, but I assume uh, there's going to be a bit of delay because most people are going to be trying to try it Sylvanas, and I'm pretty sure you the matchmaking system doesn't allow two of the same heroes. I don't know if you queue up as two of the same heroes, if you can do that or how that works. I, I don't know. I'll have to try that out with Kate after just to see. Maybe we'll both go as Illidan or something. But in general, I have never seen two of the same character in a match unless it's on the opposing team. So I don't know. But a team of all Sylvanas would be pretty cool. Don't know if it would be effective, but uh, it, would be, it would be pretty neat. Um, other than that, uh, oh yeah, I got the stim pack thing up here, which it was given as part of my player level wop do. Uh, again, you can buy them in the shop for I don't know how much because I don't bother with them, but nice for the uh, experience bonus. I'm going to mostly use it to get Sylvanas up to her master skin, maybe Arthas to his master skin too. I'm just going to get all the World of Warcraft characters and Diablo characters and uh, Starcraft characters that are in purple apparently to master skins. That's that's a small goal. If I have enough time to do that in my downtime and in recording videos, I don't know. I did not think this match making thing would take as long as it has been. Uh, wow, that's that's a lot longer. It has to be because everyone's trying out Sylvanas and because usually it's like instant. I believe it, the longest I think I've waited was maybe. 15 seconds? I don't know. So, let's see what we can go over here. Uh, with our talents, I can scroll through a few of them real quickly. Again, not sure what I'm getting into. I did try her out in a practice round, and and uh, again, I it takes me a bit to get used to the uh, characters and the new talents and everything, But and I don't use guides for builds or anything like that, so whatever I pick is just purely upon trying out and reading it and seeing a certain vibe for it. I don't play competitively, so it doesn't really matter. I, I always go for survivability talents over, and maybe uh, quality of life talents too. Those are pretty good. Like I see she has the double teleport thing, which is pretty nifty. Ah, here we go. Oh, interesting. We have, oh, very Scourge, very Scourge, Scourge, Scourge friendly team with Arthas and Anubarak. I think that's how you pronounce that, Anubarak. And I think we have Thrall and, what, it's all WoW characters? Wait, who else do we have? I think we have 
Talisador? Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Not sure if that's the character on the team. See here in a second. Oh, I want to do the spider one. Uh, maybe I'll do a video of that after, but it's hard because I don't think you can really pick. So I'm sure I'll get into it today, but it looks really fun. And uh, anytime they add new boards, I'm really excited about it because you get kind of tired of playing the same ones. So it's a nice new scenery. And it's very fitting, Spider Queen, Banshee Queen. Uh, oh, it's the Lost Vikings. I haven't had too many matches with them. Let's see if anyone's going to be friendly. Ha! <laughs> Thrall greetings, Traveler. Oh, Thrall. How I hate you, but not you, the person playing Thrall. Stupid Thrall. And Arthas is really excited. He's talking in caps. Um, oh, okay. I guess I'll... Go and Four, yeah, three, okay. Okay, yeah, I'll go. I guess they got it. Kill, fight, oh my god. My I don't know if Arthas is RPing or he's just being silly. But he's being loud. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll go down and help out Thrall. I don't know why. No, 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 I'm wanted in the middle. Oh, okay, I see. <clears throat> I see what's going on here. We're going to do like a whole Scourge theme, are we? This is, this is the thing. Can I get through here? No, I'm going to be an idiot. And oh, Okay, I thought I could get through there. Whatever. I wish I had... I wish, I wish they had some sort of... In Blizzard, this, is, this needs to happen. Some sort of evil skeleton horse mounts for... Like, for something a little bit more dark and foreboding. Am I going to die here instantly? No, almost. Jesus, I'm bad. Um, for uh, talking and playing at the same time are definitely difficult, but you know, you get used to it. Um, I'm hoping for, yeah, some sort of skeleton y type mount that I can use for Arthas, Sylvanas, Illidan too, because the Kerrigan, why not? And uh, of course, Vala, because everyone needs a skeleton horse. Why not? Or maybe they could add Invincible. That would be really cool. Maybe. Um, so yeah, so far what I'm finding is that she's pretty squishy, which is not a big surprise because she's a ranged assassin. Um, ow, ow, Bala, don't kill me please. I'm trying to talk, I'm trying to tell people what's going on, you killing me and shooting me while I'm trying to describe my abilities. Uh, I'm liking all the, uh, the arrow, we'll call them, talents so far that I've, I've seemed to, I, I don't know, I usually like to build my characters around well, I mean, there's only like five different things, really, but uh, you know, one or two of their talents, and really, instead of spreading everything out, uh, so, uh, excuse me, with uh, Sylvanas, I find her Withering Arrow and or trait with Black Arrows is really the way to go. I love just helping people, like I'm doing here with Arthas, uh, five times in a row. It's, it's really fun. It's, it's kind of hard to play with the way I play, with uh, moving the mouse around, but maybe I'll change that and start playing the keyboard itself. I don't I don't know. But in general as you see in there, it's, it's really fun to just wail away five arrows at the at people and they don't do that much damage, but they do enough that let's see if I can get Boo here. Yeah. Well, actually I don't know if all that back over. Whatever. Um it's fun. I really like it. Uh Withering Fire is probably my new regular favorite ability to use in this game because it's just, I don't know, it's something a little bit more reactive and you can really feel like you're actually in the action a little bit, I guess. Uh, other than that, her Banshee Shriek thingy, it doesn't do much damage but it's more useful for like a teleport, it's like a I mean, that's pretty much its main use, yeah, I would... Well, not really. I mean, it does damage, and there's other little abilities you can get that... I really like taking the double teleport ability, because I find that to be... Well, it's a, it's a good escape mechanic. Mind you that it's kind of hard to target and move around sometimes. You have to hit it twice in succession to do that, and four times in succession if you take that upgrade, which I usually do, because I usually end up... I'm going to say usually once more... Uh, in trouble a lot because I overextend myself with chasing something that I complain that Kate does a lot too of, but it's easier to get away with that as range, um, although I still die a ton of times. So uh, anything that I can use to teleport away is, is probably 
was a bonus. Um, the, uh, yeah. sorry. Uh, with the plant here, it's, I really don't need to go into, it's, it's pretty much the same old, same old. Um, <laughs> fuck you, Carrion. Um, with the Shadow Dagger, I like taking a little healing bonus of it because it's, it's a nice little effect, and I kind of need some healing, a little bit of healing. And it's kind of like a dot, so it reminds me of, like, Defile from WoW, or Defile? Kind of like Defile, more like a uh, Cross Plague, I guess, from Death Knight's Defile, where you hit one thing and it kind of spreads a little bit and it ticks for damage and life, so it's it's kind of cool. I see what they did with that, and I really like it. Um, for heroic abilities, which I will get to here eventually, um, I think it's level 10, are uh, Possession and Wailing Arrow, I think it was it. Uh, I've tried Possession in the thingy, and I'm not, I'm sure it's really good. But right now, I'm, I don't know, capturing the minions and having them fight for you and whatnot. And it's got a short cooldown of about four seconds or so. I mean, it could be and can be very effective, and I'm sure a skilled player can just use it to decimate people and just, like, you know, grab a whole bunch of minions. And I forget how long it lasts for, or if it lasts till the dead or whatever. But again, just experimenting for simplicity's sakes. Uh, the uh, Howling Arrow. I, I forget what it's called. Well, I'll see you here in a second. Um, I could just look on the thing, but whatever. I'll, it'll it'll pop up soon enough. Um, it's the typical, you know, long range shot, but you can activate it a second time wherever you want, so it'll do its damage. It does decent damage, especially in its leveled up form. I don't know. It's it's fitting. I don't. Both are fitting. I think the arrow is. Kind of more befitting Sylvanas. I mean, she doesn't really possess or control things in lore a lot. I guess she kind of does, but not to the point where she just like does like a you know a spell and you, like everyone just listens to her. That's more of a hmm. Elves. Just thinking because Ashura just kind of does that too. So I'm wondering if that's like an elven thing that that's they're good at like you know manipulative magic. What I'm trying to say. Thanks, Arthur. That was well timed. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so if we can take down these towers here. Oh, another ability she has, I forgot to mention, because it's kind of a passive, um, is every time you use a um, Withering Arrow, it will stop the uh, towers from firing for a second or two, I believe, which is, again, really effective. She's, she's a very overpowered character, and while I definitely. Oh, I love that Withering Arrow effect. I definitely am not that good with her now. I mean, this is only the second time I've tried her, and I'll probably play her a lot and get a little bit better, but I will never be at the level of some people, and I know she's overpowered. I can tell by her abilities that she is going to be played quite a lot. She is going to be... I, I Let's put it this way. I don't want to fight her, because if I'm playing against someone else, they will most likely kick my ass, no matter who I'm using, because she has so many tricky abilities and... Even if you're not, like, going head-on people, if you're going around the map just doing your own thing, she can be quite deadly with all her minion control fuckery and her ability to take down towers pretty much by herself. It's it's kind of crazy, and she'll probably nerf like they usually do with most characters after they're out for a little bit. Um, but they'll keep her pretty powerful until, you know, a lot of people buy her, but... I, I think it wouldn't even matter if she was horrible. I think a lot of people would buy her just on name recognition alone. But she's definitely not horrible. And if anything, she will probably require a slight nerf to... I don't know what they would nerf, though. Because her damage isn't that great. And her abilities, they can't really nerf her them or change too much. Because it's kind of like iconic what she does. So... I don't know, maybe they'll change a few things around a little bit. I can't really put my finger on what I would say makes her overpowered because it's like her entire toolkit is what makes her overpowered. Like her utility is kind of... It just has a little bit of everything. Like I feel like I'm playing uh, a mix of Vala and Arthas. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about right. I feel like, yeah, I mean, that makes sense, I guess, because that's kind of what she is. She's an undead archer. So they definitely got her field down packed. I just think that everything together makes her, like, pretty unstoppable. It's 
especially in the right hands. Um, uh, yeah. Right now, I don't think we're gonna have too much trouble finishing this match off. I mean, everyone's doing their own thing. I'm just gonna go. Again. I, I really should try to play Kerrigan more. I really, she's fun, but it, I don't. I, so many characters, and, and unless I really like their master skin, I don't really feel like getting them up any farther was really a big deal, but now with all the gold increases, which I was complaining about the hate there, uh, I believe last night, that, you know, what am I gonna do? Now that was da 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 and I play other characters, and that's fine, but they should really introduce some sort of, you know, either more levels or a gold increase. I didn't mean to bump us up to level 20, Blizzard. Level 15 would have been fine. Now I have to get everyone, all well, the few people that I do want, level 20 to level 20, and if this leveling is reversed, after beta is over, it doesn't even seem like beta. I don't even know why, honestly, this game is still in beta. It's pretty ready. Um, but it's Blizzard after all. They like to take their time, and that's fine, because, I don't know, you, you can get into beta for the price of what it would cost to buy a, a game. I'm sure this is going to be a free-to-play game. I mean, you just pay for the heroes or whatever, but, you know, the 40 bucks isn't really that bad. And you get some skins, and you get some gold, and it, it's if you really want to start playing this, there's there's really no better time, and this is not a Blizzard endorsement or whatever. They do not. I, I, <laughs> I wish they would give me uh, some sort of endorsement deal, but that will never happen. Um, but yeah, you should. You should go ahead, um, and you never know. You might get lucky and get into the beta yourself, uh, just because sometimes they randomly like people. Like I bought in, and they gave me some free keys, which I gave out to people that I know, and da da da. da. So. Whatever, either way, it should soon be out. If not, if you really want to uh, get in. Now, now's a really good time, because there's a, uh, a good range of characters. It doesn't take very long to learn how to play. I, I've never played in MOBA before. I tried Little League of Legends, didn't really seem like my favorite thing at the time. I can see now why it's so goddamn addictive, because I, I think what it was is I needed a hook, and the Blizzard characters are that hook because I've been playing Blizzard games for oh, a good long time now, five years, ten years. That doesn't seem like a long time to, I'm sure, some of the long-standing Blizzard holdouts, but I've been playing it long enough that I recognize pretty much everybody, and it feels very exciting and very comforting. So, God damn it, I should be paying more attention to what I'm doing in-game instead of yammering on about the good old days. Um, I personally want to see, like... Again, more Blizzard lore characters like Medivh. I think that would be cool. Um, maybe Ashara? Maybe Sargeras? I don't think we'll ever get Sargeras because... Well, I shouldn't say that because we got Diablo. Um, uh, Death himself, Mathiel, I believe, is his name from Diablo. Forgive me for not getting that right because I haven't played too far in Diablo. Um, again, because... It is time. I like creepy do death type people. Um, I don't really know anyone else I would add. Uh, there's there's lots of people I wouldn't mind seeing, but just personal favorites. Um, there's probably a few more WoW characters. This is not going to be a popular opinion with Kate, but I would not mind seeing Grom Hellscream, or Gromash as they call him now, or even Garrosh, because... I don't know, I kind of like the look of Garrosh. I don't like the character too much, but in in a sense of everything he did, but in what Blizzard wrote him as, but I do like the look of him, and I don't know, it would be funny to see. Also, he'd be fun to kick his ass over and over again. But Grom is pretty uh, iconic, and I think I think they're going to do something with him, with Draenor. I, I, I don't know, but I can't see us killing him off completely. I think he'll be one of the characters that survives and comes back with us, maybe? I, again, I don't know. It seems like they're building him up for something more than just what happened, although, what do I know? Um, but yeah, probably more... Oh, Trillion, maybe? Valeria? It could be skins. Um, stuff like that. Uh, from other Blizzard games, I don't know... From StarCraft, again, I don't play StarCraft, so I know the major characters. I think we've gotten pretty much everyone that there is, so it's kind of... This game, I think, is in... The only thing in danger of this game is coming is instead of Blizzard 
you know, Heroes of the Storm is just going to be World of Warcraft of the Storm because there's way more WoW characters that I'm interested in, way more WoW lore characters that I think would be fit for this game. Oh, but Overwatch, yeah, that's what I want to talk about. If they could put some Overwatch characters in, I think they will. And of course, Reaper, yes, I'm just going to have a team of fucking skull people. Um, but a lot of other characters in Overwatch are pretty cool, and I think they'd be a good fit for this game. Um, but yeah. Back to Sylvanas after I finish destroying this house, tower, base thing. Um, I think she's. I bought her with the uh, in-game gold. I think the charge fifteen dollars for. Her. I think there's a sale on her for a while. Uh, to get her and her Ranger General skin for thirteen something. I think it's eleven something. I think I know this, but um, yeah, she's. Well, you know, I don't. I don't know because I try not to buy a character. I bought Arthas because I when I first started playing, but uh, uh, I think she's worth it. So if you're on the fence, definitely spend the gold to get her. Yeah, if you have some money, you know, she's worth about fifteen dollars. Sure, I'm glad they didn't make her twenty bucks like I thought they were gonna do. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, like, comment, subscribe, take care, stay scared, and I will see you guys in the next video, and or in Heroes of the Storm. Bye-bye.